Hey guys, welcome back to the BMW channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Working on the Mini Cooper again, so stay tuned. All right, guys. So a few months back, I made a video on an oil catch can. Installing an oil catch can on a Mini Cooper is one of the best things you can do to preserve your engine. The N18 and N14 variant of the Mini Cooper all have issues with carbon buildup. The best thing you can do to help prevent and minimize carbon buildup on the valves is installing a coil catch can. You guys can check out my, one of my older videos and find out what I did in order to prevent this. This is kind of a controversial topic because the oil catch can has been seen to have positive and negative effects. Some people notice issues with oil smells inside the cabin and others don't notice the issue at all. And if you've also been following my channel thus far, you know that I install the many specific PCB caps that are located over here and on the underside of the intake manifold. After a few weeks of research on various different forms and speaking with Mini Cooper mechanics, we decided to go ahead and put the PCV caps in their designated areas. Here on the opposite side of the valve cover are opposite of this one over here and the one on the, on the bottom of the intake manifold, thereby eliminating the dirty side of the system. So in doing this, we should see a substantial increase in blow-by that actually goes into the catch can, and that's what today's video is going to be about. So I wanted to go ahead and make a formal apology. I did remove the contents of the oil catch can about two months ago with a friend of mine, and I was surprised at the results. All right, guys, so uh, I wanted to show you guys something pretty gross. We're about two months in. Uh, I'm going to show you what the catch can uh, caught in almost two months. So go ahead and pour it out. You see that? That's what's actually going into your, uh, to your intake, straight to your intake, onto your valves. It's basically what all the sediment becomes, and this is what hardens on your, uh, on your valves, guys. So, uh, do yourself a favor. Um, go back and watch my videos. Uh, do the oil catch can. Do the, uh, the PCV caps. You want to prevent this nasty stuff from getting to your valves. So that video was easily two to three months ago, so I'm very interested to see what's inside the oil catch can at this point in time. So I've already loosened up the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it on, so I'll, I'll loosen it with my hand and I'll unscrew it and show you guys what I found. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Can you dig in? So as I'm sure you guys just saw a little bit of what was inside, I wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity to thank those of you who have subscribed to the channel. We have grown quite a bit in the last six months and I couldn't have done it without you guys. So for those of you who are the OGs and those of you who purchased an OG hoodie, I appreciate it. And this one is really for you guys. So for the purposes of this video, I picked up a plastic cup and a shop rag and I'm going to pour the contents of the oil catch can inside of here and any sediment that will get left behind on this the rag here. No, no, you guys can see that there, but that's quite a bit of nastiness and it's already beginning to separate. A combination of water, oil, and some other unknown substance. Uh, these are the things that are actually building up on your valves and giving you the carbon buildup that we're all plagued with. It's pretty nasty, guys. If this doesn't prove that you need to put an oil catch can on your car for the sake of just this going back into your engine, I don't know what does. Kind of looks like a caramel macchiato. Anybody want to drink? As you guys can see, um, the shop rack is soaked up a little more. So I have separated the contents of the oil from the water and this is what I was left with. The kind of a clear watery oily substance with particles in it. Again that's unknown guys. So just wanted to further show you guys what else is going into your engine. If you guys haven't installed a coal catch can on your car you should do it now. Alright guys so that about wraps it up for today's video. I know today's video was a little bit different but I wanted to start 2018 off with a video for something that you guys have been asking me about for a very very long time. So hopefully I laid some of y'all suspicions to rest guys. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully I inspired you guys to install an oil 
catch can on your car. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I have pretty much solved the oil smell inside my cabin. So if you have any questions regarding that, leave me a comment down below and I will do a video on that later this month. So guys, thank you guys for watching the BBDU channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that alert button if you want to be alerted for more videos. So guys, thank you for watching and as always, peace out and Godspeed guys.